Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay. So in this example, we have this open set, open interval 0 comma 1, which is subset of R. And we have to prove that it is not complete with a usual distance. And there is second part also. And we have to prove that it is complete in Rd1, where D is a discrete matrix. That means simply we have to prove if we have a usual matrix, then that set is not complete. And if you have a discrete matrix, then it is a complete. Okay. So let us focus on first part. Uh, we will prove that it is not complete. Okay. So let us consider we have, let me write, we have, let us call it as X, which is equal to open interval 0, 1. So first we have to prove it is not complete with a usual distance, right? When we say the matrix space is not complete, if we can find a Cauchy sequence, which is not convergent, then we say it is not complete. If there is every Cauchy sequence is convergent, then it is complete, right? But here we have to prove it is not complete. That means we should find a Cauchy sequence, which is not convergent. Okay, so let us start to prove. So let me mention, we will prove that we will prove that open interval 0 1 is not complete with usual distance okay with usual distance not complete means we will find a Cauchy sequence which is not convergent right so let us consider a sequence let xn is equal to i am considering a sequence 1 by 2n okay so let us find first terms of this sequence if i put n is equal to 1 n is equal to 1 we will have 1 by 2 if i put n is equal to 2 2 into 2 4 if i put n is equal to 3 3 into 2 6 and so on so we will have terms like this 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 6 1 by 8 1 by 10 and so on. So obviously all these terms lie in this interval. Okay, so let me mention clearly, clearly that xn belongs to open interval 0, 1 for all n, right? So that means it is a sequence in open interval 0, 1. Therefore, therefore xn is sequence in open interval 0 1. So now our next task is to prove it is Cauchy. First we will prove it is Cauchy and then I will prove it is not convergent. Okay. Let me mention now we will prove it is Cauchy. Okay. So we are familiar with the definition of Cauchy sequence. Obviously, epsilon is involved here. So I will take any arbitrary epsilon. Let epsilon greater than 0 be given. Okay. So I have taken any arbitrary positive epsilon. And for this epsilon, we have to find capital N. Let us recall the definition of Cauchy sequence. Huh? What is definition of Cauchy sequence? If D of Xn, Xm less than epsilon for all nm greater than or equal to capital N, right? So this is definition of Cauchy sequence. So this thing we have to prove for this sequence xn, okay? This sequence xn, okay? So epsilon I have already taken. So now uh, I will work on this d of xn xm. Let us find its value and then we will find that capital N. Let us consider, consider d of xn xm. But see, D is a usual distance. So what is the definition of usual distance? D of Xn, Xm is equal to mod Xn minus Xm. Since D is usual distance, so it's uh, defined in this way. Is equal to, let us find its value, Xn. Xn is 1 by uh, 2n. So I can write mod 1 by 2n minus obviously Xm is 1 by 2n. So the same thing can be written as 1 by 2n plus minus 1 by 2n. Have you understood what I have done? Simply I have adjusted that minus sign. I have taken minus here and I wrote plus. So minus plus minus. You will get same thing again. 
plus is there so I can apply triangle inequality. If you take separate separate mod value will get increase. By triangle inequality mod 1 by 2n plus mod minus 1 by 2m. Okay, if you don't know triangle inequality, let me mention here. It says mod a plus b less than or equal to mod a plus mod b. Okay, so this is triangle inequality which I use here. Let us go further. Uh, if you take mod n is a natural number, so you will get the same value 1 by 2n. Because of this mod minus sign will get absorbed, it will get cancelled m is a natural number will be as it is so 1 by 2 m okay so we have got this step and this is so much important for us so i am calling it as 1 so here d of x n x m less than or equal to 1 by 2 n plus 1 by 2 m we have got okay uh, just make a screenshot of it then i will go further okay so let us go further so let me write the definition of Cauchy sequence again the definition of Cauchy sequence is d of xn xm less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital N, right? Epsilon we have already taken. Its value also we have calculated less than or equal to this one. So let us work on this capital N. So generally we use Archimedean property to find the suitable va value of that capital N. Okay, so here also I will do the same by Archimedean property. Archimedean property. Okay, so that property says this property says if you have any real number, definitely you can find natural number greater than that. So here also by Archimedean property, we can find natural number n such that which is greater than 1 by epsilon. Okay, so yes, this is n we have chosen. Okay. 1 upon epsilon why I have taken uh, you will uh, understand at the end of this answer okay solution so 1 upon epsilon I have taken so you can find natural number greater than this real number now what will I do I will interchange if I interchange 1 by n less than epsilon let me call it as true okay let us go further uh, after that what will I do See, at the end of definition of Cauchy sequence, we write n m greater than or equal to capital N. So that thing I will consider. So consider n m greater than or equal to capital N, right? It means so n greater than or equal to capital N, m is also greater than or equal to capital N. I will take reciprocal of both sides. 1 by n, inequality will get changed if you take reciprocals less than or equal to 1 by capital N and here this thing will happen. Let us add them, okay. Uh, addition of left hand side, 1 by n plus 1 by less than or equal to addition of right hand side, 1 by n plus 1 by n, you will get 2 by n, right? Okay. Uh, see, what will I do? W what we want 1 by 2n plus 1 by 2m. So I will multiply both sides by 1 by 2, okay. I am going to multiply. Uh, there is no more space to write, but see I will manage 1 by 2, 1 by n plus 1 by m less than or equal to 1 by 2 into 2 by n, okay. Let us see what will happen. I am going to write there, okay. So let us go further. So I will take product 1 by 2 into 1 by n, 1 by 2n plus 1 by 2 into 1 by m, 1 by 2 m less than or equal to 2, 2 will get cancelled and we will have 1 by n only. So this is inequality number 3. So right now we have 1, 2 and 3. So let us use all these things simultaneously. Let us combine them from 1, 2 and C, 3. Let us see what will happen. D of xn, xm. Okay, this thing we have got. We have proved it is less than or equal to 1 by 2n plus 1 by 2m. Just now we have proved here 1 by 2n plus 1 by 2m less than or equal to what? 1 by capital N. And 2 says 1 by n capital N less than epsilon, less than epsilon with this condition. We cannot forget this condition. Okay, The condition is n and m greater than or equal to capital N. It means 
let me remove this part it is not required okay okay so let us continue so therefore d of xn xn see when we say a less than b b less than c c less than d it means a less than d so same thing is happening here this is less than this one this is less than this one and this is less than this one that means the first one is strictly less than last one so d of x n x m strictly less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital n and see this is definition of cauchy sequence so therefore we can say therefore that x n is cauchy in uh, cauchy with usual distance usual distance okay so uh, we started with one cauchy sequ one sequence xn is equal to 1 by 2n and we proved it is cauchy so now we will prove it is not convergent okay so let me mention clearly actually we can prove in the same way so that's why directly i am writing xn that means the sequence is 1 by 2n so clearly this sequence converges to zero okay that sequence converges to zero with usual distance okay in the usual matrix space we can say that sequence converges to zero right uh, you can prove in the same way so that's why i'm directly writing if you want you can write the proof also okay see there is no more space to write just make a screenshot of it then i will go further see that sequence xn converges to zero but the problem is that zero does not belongs to this open interval see this is an open interval so it does not contain its boundary point and zero is its boundary point so that's why zero does not belongs to that open interval it means it means that xn xn converges to zero but zero does not belongs to this interval therefore xn is not convergent in zero one so we got one sequence which is cauchy in 0 1 but it is not convergent in open interval 0 1 with a usual distance that's why we can declare it is not complete okay since we got a cauchy sequence which is not convergent therefore therefore open interval 0 1 is not complete with usual distance okay with usual distance Yes, so in this way, we have completed the half part of this uh, example, okay? So the second half is, we have to prove that it is complete. We have to prove this open interval 0, 1 is complete with you, uh, discrete matrix space, okay? Just make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. See, let me clearly mention, now to prove that, now, to prove that open interval 0, 1 is complete, with discrete matrix okay discrete matrix so discrete matrix means what there are two distances only either zero or one if both points are same distance is zero both points are different distance is one so we have to prove that in that matrix space with that matrix this open interval zero one is complete okay so when we say the matrix space is complete if every cauchy sequence is convergent so what will i do i will take one cauchy sequence from this set and i will prove that it is convergent let xn be any cauchy sequence in open interval 0 1. okay so i have taken one cauchy sequence we have to prove that it is convergent but see one result we have already proved in our previous videos just check the playlist this playlist so you can easily find one result that result says in a discrete matrix space every cauchy sequence is eventually constant and hence convergent so i will use that result directly but in a discrete matrix space every cauchy sequence is eventually constant eventually constant 
and hence convergent. Okay, so we have taken one Cauchy sequence in a open interval 0, 1 with discrete, uh, discrete matrix. So using that result, we can directly say that Xn is eventually constant and hence convergent. So therefore, directly I can say therefore Xn is convergent in 0, 1 with discrete matrix with discrete metric okay so if you want the proof of this result you can check my that previous video you, which you can easily find in this playlist right so xn is a convergent so we started with one Cauchy sequence we proved it is convergent so therefore every Cauchy sequence is convergent in open interval 0 1 therefore every Cauchy sequence is convergent in open interval 0 1 with discrete matrix okay discrete matrix therefore open interval 0 1 is complete since this is definition of complete matrix space every Cauchy sequence is convergent it is complete with discrete matrix okay discrete matrix so in this way we have completed this example just make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you